guys and welcome to uh, my next reaction to Bates Motel. Uh, this is season four, episode three. The past two have been literally insane. Um, and the, uh, the one tonight is supposed to be Norma and Romero getting married. And I'm really excited. Although I'm absolutely positive that they're just going to drive each other completely bonkers, but I'm excited to see that too. Okay, let's get started. It's not a good sign that a woman wears like black to her wedding. We gather here to join this man in this woman matrimony, which is an honorable estate and is not to be entered into lightly, but with great reverence and discretion. From this day forward, you will belong entirely to each other, together in mind, together in heart. You can skip this part. We know all this. <laughs> together in heart, together in soul, for all eternity. Alexander, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love, honor, and protect her in sickness and in health till death do you part? You know, he probably no, does. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love, honor, and protect him in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. Do you have the rings? Yeah. Uh, I've got her coming. I just, it's getting adjusted. Oh, oh, he got her a ring? By the authority vested in me by the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh. You may kiss the ground. Norma just, I mean. I mean, this isn't exactly how I wanted their first kiss to be, but... Kind of wanted her to be more into it, but she's smiling, she's into it. Okay, you got a husband, girl. You're welcome. Salon, restaurant. It's on the house. Yeah, it's I don't, oh I'm my sorry, god. I, I, Go on the date! I, I, I just got, got a lot on my mind and I'm so worried about Norman. And I know, know this is stupid, but this is the third time that I've been married and I'm never going to be good at it. And this isn't even real, so I just can't go out in public and act like I'm happy. Wow. She really knows how to... That's what I'll call for. Come on, have a wonderful time and fall in love with that man. You're already in love with him. She just doesn't like want to admit that she is, but she freaking is. <laughs> Drunken make out, make out. Okay, fine. He doesn't want to take advantage of her. Good night. Sleep well, Mrs. Romero. I'm keeping my name.
smile, girl. Yeah, you love him. Oh my god, he's filling in the pit! He's filling in the pit! Oh shit. I was wondering where this went. Thank you very much. No problem. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. That was kind of last game. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. Hey, um, uh, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What do you want? But I thought that you wanted to know. Your father is capable of. He beat me within an inch of my life. He left me for dead. So what do you want? We're Caleb. Yeah, well, I haven't spoke to him, and I don't know how to find it. Let's go. Oh, God. She had a key? Ooh, this was a, this might have been a serious bitch. Ooh. Oh, and if you do, is that the truth? I wish I was hiding a bunch of money down here. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> well, you told the truth. Okay. She's better and better every day. I was positive I'm Dylan so was going to show up and Romero would answer the door. I, uh, I just saw Romero leaving. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, he will be around a fair amount. We got married. <laughs> I uh, can't believe that Romero would do all that for you. Well, yeah, well, he, he's got his good side. You can't talk about them. Nothing bad is going to happen. Oh, bad talk. things will happen if I do. And then, yes, if I don't talk about them, then other bad things might happen, so I don't know what to do. Oh. I just don't want to hurt her, but I am scared. Do you understand? I do understand. Freddie Highmore is fucking this is brilliant. A tough dilemma, but maybe we can work through. I feel my heart's breaking for Norman right now, and Norman's the one killing people. I mean, it's insane. Oh. I'm actually afraid of you right now because you have put me in this horrible position. What am I supposed to do, mother? Oh boy. Just why don't you have to be my best? Okay. Just I just want you to forgive me. I don't forgive you. I can't forgive you. Stuffing me in here, you have painted me in a corner that I cannot get out of. And I have never been so disappointed in anyone. Oh my god. Norman. That's that's gonna kill her. Oh god. To the right thing. Oh, 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 freaking kiss him back this time. Thank you. Do, will you please? Oh, thank God. I'm so happy right now.
I really hope she doesn't like wake up tomorrow and like be weird again. Oh. Sheesh. I do need to tell you something. Oh, no. No, 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 Norman. Oh no. No, no, no. She's finally happy. Ugh. Just being with you is enough. Be careful. God, I don't know. What to think about that? That's probably this is probably not gonna go very well for Norma, but at least she's kind of happy in this episode, sort of, with Romero. Oh God. Oh God, this is bad. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye.